The international airport has stopped operating. No flights in or out. Paralyzed by gang violence, like much of the country. A gang leader and former police officer Jimmy Charizet, nicknamed Barbecue, has claimed responsibility for the attacks, saying the aim is to force the Prime Minister, Ariel Henry, to stand down. In an unusual move, the gangs are uniting to bring down the government, and analysts say this could be a turning point in Haiti's already tumultuous history. The government gave us the weapons to fight with our brothers and sisters. Now we turn the guns against them to fight them because they don't do anything for us. Gangs have overrun two of the main prisons in the capital, releasing several thousand prisoners, including gang leaders. Gun battles are taking place in the streets. Prisoners have escaped from several jails. It's miserable. The crisis is getting worse. Everywhere is unsafe. I can't find clients for my taxi to make money to feed my children. I'm an old man. Nothing seems to be functioning here anymore. Thousands of people are fleeing their homes. Many are having to queue up to get clean water. Some tell Al Jazeera they haven't been able to find drinking water since Sunday. We feel discouraged. We're fleeing. Our children can't go to school. We can't buy food. How can we live in such a situation? We're fighting our fellow Haitians while we're the same Haitian people. The U.S. administration has urged Americans to leave the country as soon as possible. Canada has closed its embassy. And some aid organizations have suspended their operations due to the dangerous situation. Thank you very much. The Prime Minister flew to Kenya last week to finalize a deal to set up a UN task force led by Kenya to help restore order. That triggered this latest crisis. But there are still no UN troops on the ground to help authorities restore order, and the Prime Minister has yet to return. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.